what I want to show you here is a uh, is a fix or how would I say that uh, an issue that I encountered with the B Brain flight controller. Uh, it's from New B Drone and it's a flight controller for the uh, Inductrix to you know make it a tiny whoop. But this is more of running a NACE thirty. Uh, this is like a NACE thirty two based. Uh, flight controller running uh, beta flight. So, anyways, I got the controller uh, with uh, beta flight 2.9.1, and uh, I followed uh, the instructions by uh, you know Jesse Perkins online and uh, the new B drone team in YouTube and uh, the manual. So, anyways, I got I got this uh, tiny whoop running. Uh, uh, be brain uh, flawlessly, but I'm not really happy with uh, with how it flies. Like I don't know, uh, I adjusted the pids and all that stuff, but I still don't feel that locked in uh, uh, feeling. So upgrade uh, the uh, firmware to Beta Flight uh, 3.0. So again, following uh, the uh, the manual. I upgraded to, I flashed the firmware to 3.0 and uh, I had to rebind my uh, uh, B-Brain flight controller to my Tyrannus and uh, it took me almost a day to figure this out because I kept on binding uh, and I uh, verified that uh, from my my wife and son that I'm getting that uh, solid uh, red uh, light meaning you know it's bound but when I go here on the receiver uh, section of Betaflight configurator uh, when I move the sticks nothing it's not responding so you know I tried different things I tried to reflash downgraded back to 2.9.1 but it's still I even followed the uh, the advice of JC Perkins to change this to A T A E R or something. Anyways, it's just not working. So uh, after you know going through the settings and reflashing and flashing, what I notice is that in this area under under configuration in receiver mode, this was set at R X parallel P W M. So I was like, uh, you know, I haven't, I don't remember if this was the original setting, but uh, you know, I know I run PPM on all my racing quads, so I said, you know what, maybe it's it's supposed to be RX PPM. So after I changed that, uh, save and rebooted, uh, went back to the receiver, and uh, there you go, voila, it's responding now. So I just want to share that in case uh, you encounter the same problem and looking for a solution uh, online. Uh, this might uh, solve your problem. I'm not, you know, 100% sure if this is a problem, but if you could bind and you can uh, uh, validate and that the red uh, light is solid, then uh, and then you're having this problem. Maybe change it to that uh, setting that I showed. It's under uh, configuration and then receiver mode RX PPM. Another thing that I notice is that uh, on the manual that was uh, from uh, newbie drone, it says here on uh, part seven or before part seven, it basically gives you a uh, guide if you're gonna upgrade it to or flash the firmware to the latest uh, beta flight 3.0. So I followed this, but uh, it's kind of a bit confusing because it says that uh, you need to run your ESC motor feature uh, on PWM. So basically, it's just saying that this is PWM. I followed that, and uh, what happened was uh, when I plugged in the motor, uh, I haven't really armed the the, the inductrix or the tiny whoop yep the motors just went on uh, full throttle so anyways I uh, hope if the the newbie drone uh, uh, team will you know see this video maybe just uh, update your uh, documentation this should be brushed and uh, you see that if it's on PWM then uh, 
you will probably experience the same problem anyways guys that's uh, uh how i fixed uh the issue with i thought was a binding problem with the trainers so you know if you like the the video please do click like uh share and better yet uh subscribe if you want to see more of uh, videos like this uh thank you very much